Games sell consoles, not high def DVDs. Let's talk about this for a minute. That's getting into the video has decided. This video is sponsored by that left a comment on one of my videos about Adobe oh, really okay. Studio 2. Windows hardware. Do I really like it? I know it's been a while since I've done a Cheetah 3D tutorial, but man, I've been getting a lot of people who watch my Moto tutorials but use Cheetah or Silo. So, and they're asking me, hey, you can do this in Moto, how would I do the same thing in Cheetah or Silo? So I'm going to start making a few of these videos too. And the first one was, I see you can copy and paste inside of Moto. It's wonderful. You can select a polygon here. Let me create a polygon. Ball. Like, um, I can go in here, select polygons. And I could, if I was in Moto, I could select these, hit Command C, okay, to copy them, then hit Command V and paste them, and I could have this set of polygons here. But if you notice, if I go here, edit, select copy, paste, you see what happens here. We get we get kind of some issues. Okay, it's don't it does not work like Moto. So how would you go about doing this um, in Moto? I mean in Cheetah. Well, there's a couple tools. So let me show you this first one. So first, let me make another ball here. And we'll make it editable, editable by double clicking it. Now, let's go to our polygon mode. I'm going to select loop select so I can get in here and select some loops around like this. Okay. So now we have this top part selected. So now I'm going to right click pull up all my tools. Now we've got two different ways we can do this. We can split and we can disconnect. Split will be our copy and paste command. So first let's go down to split. Select split. Now that splits it and as you can see over here we have a ball split. Now if I select that ball split, move, you can see the polygons I had selected are copied. Just about copied and pasted, just like in Moto. It just takes it a couple extra steps. There's a specific tool for it. Instead of using the copy and paste, you know, you just use the split tool, and that will copy the polygons you got, split them off, and make a new set. Okay. But what if you don't want to make a new set? What if you want to split this top off, or this bottom off, or this side off, and move it out without making a copy of it? Well, that's easy too. Let's go back to our original ball here, our polygon mode. Let's just select some boxes on this side here, like this. Now, what if I want to break these loose instead of making a copy like I did before? Well, okay, I'll select my polygons. I'm going to right click, and instead of selecting split, okay, can't really see down that low. Instead of selecting split, I'm going to select disconnect. When I hit disconnect, I get this little option box over, option box over here that says preserve group or not preserve group. And I'm going to leave the preserve group checked, and I'll explain what they both are. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply it, hit OK. As you can see, there's a slight change in the viewport. I can go up to my Move tool now and pull that, and it's completely broke off. Now if I go to my Polygon mode and select a single polygon, you can see I kept that grouped checkbox on, and it's part of our group selection. Okay, so now let me demonstrate. If I take these polygons here, right click, run disconnect, this time I'm going to uncheck preserve group and hit OK. Okay, now when I go to move it, the same thing goes on. Okay, but where I didn't check the group checkbox, I can select these polygons individually and pull them off from each other. They're not grouped. Okay, so those are your copy, paste, and disconnect operations inside of Cheetah. That's how you would copy and paste geometry like you do in Moto. In our next videos we're going to go over arrays. Somebody asked me a question about arrays in Moto. How would they do them in Cheetah? And a couple more little videos. And then I had a couple questions about Silo. I um, might go over those. So if you don't have Cheetah, you're not a Mac user, this is really you don't have to watch this. I don't expect this to get too many views. This is just really to help a specific crowd that I got that watches my videos and uses Cheetah. So those are the examples of the split and disconnect uh, or kind of the equal to the copy and paste in Modo. Thanks for watching.